hello hello grade 12 learners welcome back to my youtube channel don't forget to like subscribe and share uh today we will be dealing with the essay that was asked in 2021 november final question paper so on question six it was a business operation which was under human resource function so there is a lot of mistakes that candidate makes when it comes to writing the introduction and the conclusion but today i will make sure that when this video ends you know how to write the introduction you know how to write the conclusion so here we are given a scenario that we have to read and then after reading it that's where we're going we, we are going to answer the questions that we are given the scenario read as it follows Businesses should follow the correct recruitment procedure to find suitable candidates. Some businesses prefer the external recruitment method and ensure that new employees are properly inducted. It is important that new employees should sign a legal employment contract. Then the scenario it says, I mean the question says, is write an essay on the human resource activities in which you address the following accept. Number one, we have outlined the recruitment procedure. Question number two, we have explained the impact of external recruitment on businesses. Question number three, we have discussed the benefits of induction for businesses. Question number four, we have advised businesses on the legal requirements of the employment contract. So when it's like this, we don't answer the question at first, but we have to write our introduction. So what I want you to make you aware of when we are writing our introduction, our introduction, we must create it on our own, introducing the topic that we are talking about. So first of all, that we're going to do, it's either when we write our introduction, we write something that is related to recruitment procedure as it's our first question. Or we write something that is uh, related to what the impact of external recruitment. Or we will write something that is related to benefits of induction. Or we will write something that is what legal requirements of the employment contract. But we don't answer the questions that they are asked there. But we have to generate our own question in our mind. Then we answer it there. Do we understand? For instance, what can I say about the recruitment procedure? I can say the correct recruitment procedure enables businesses to conduct a proper job analysis that will be used to identify suitable candidates for the vacancy so remember our introduction is going to have two points so already for me to write that i have obtained one mark so i need the second mark so it's either i talk about what the external recruitment or it's either i talk about what uh, the induction process or it's either i talk about what the employment contract or do we understand or legal uh, requirements of the employment contract so the second point that i can use i can say the external recruitment method enables businesses to grow because they can recruit uh, locally and abroad i get my two marks and then let me just give you uh, another points for what the recruitment i mean for the induction i can say a proper induction Processes enables employers and new employees to have a common understanding of that expected output and performance. The last one that I can say about what the legal employment contract is that it eliminates uh, the misinterpretation regarding the terms and conditions of the employment. So that's how we will be writing our essay, guys. There is nothing that is hard when it comes to writing the essay. So now... Remember, that was our introduction. Introduction has two points. We now go to what? To our body. When we write our body, the first thing, as you can see that the question says, outline the recruitment procedure. On our body, we are not going to write outline the recruitment procedure, but we are going to write recruitment procedure, then you underline it. If you don't, if you don't write recruitment procedure, you're going to write the recruitment procedure you underline it and then you give us what are the recruitment procedure the first bullet point that we can use uh, is the one that says 
uh, the human resource manager, which is uh, HRM, must prepare a job description in order to determine the responsibilities or key performance areas that are related to the nature of the job. Do we understand? And then the second one, we can say uh, the human resource manager must indicate the job specification or job description which are what are the key performance areas to attract what suitable candidate so usual on such questions you can write five of them because it's gonna be 10 marks and then the third one that we can use is the one that says choose the recruitment method such as internal or external recruitment uh, to reach the suitable applicants or what candidate does that make sense and then the other point that I can give you is that if internal recruitment is unsuccessful, external recruitment should be considered. Do we understand? So that's how we will be writing our essay. That's how we write this thing. There is nothing hard uh, that you need to worry about when it comes to what the essay of recruitment. And then the second question, it says, uh, explain the impact of external recruitment on businesses so remember we have positives and then negatives so when you are explaining the impact of what external recruitment on businesses you can write the positives you can write the negatives or you can even mix them but when you are mixing them don't indicate that this is a positive this is negative you, you will just write them so usual on this one you must be very greedy you must write uh, even 10 if you can do we understand so that means on your second paragraph or on your second question you are going to say the impact of external recruitment on businesses then you underline then you start to write your first bullet point let us hear what can you write or how can you write it uh, I will first give you the positives on the positives is whereby we say new candidate bring new talents to the business you get to two marks um, we can also say there is a large pool of candidates to choose from you get your two marks and then you can also say um, it reduces any happiness or conflict among current employees who applied for the position you get your two marks remember now I'm giving you what the positive impact for what for uh, external recruitment and then the other one that you can say is the one that say there is a large chance of getting a suitable candidate with the necessary skills who does not need much training or development which reduces what cost for the business. So when we go to the negatives, you can say information on CVs may be not reliable. And then you can also say uh, many unsuitable applicants can slow down the selection process. And then the other one that you can take is the one that says new employees usually take long to adapt or adjust to a new work environment. And then the other one that we can also take is the one that says external source can be expensive recruitment agencies like sort of a adv advertising things on newspapers. So that is what we are talking about. And then now, let us move to the next question. On the next question, they say, discuss the benefits of induction for businesses. Let us discuss the benefits of what the induction for businesses. So here we are going to say the benefits of induction for businesses. And then you underline or you write benefits of induction for businesses. And then you underline. Uh, number one that you can write is the one that says let new employees adapt quick and work effectively. Uh, the bullet point number two that you can take is the one that says ensure that new employees understand rules in the business. Those are the what are the benefits of induction. And new employees can build the relationship with core workers leading to good teamwork. And also the one that says uh, make new employees feel comfortable, welcome in the workplace, which uh, reduce anxiety or fear. Does that make sense? And it will also increase the quality of performance that promotes the 
use of work method or uh, resources and then reduce the need for further training and development because those people they are already in an induction they know how are they going to work do we understand and then the other one that we can take new employees feel part of the team which leads to positive moral and motivation and then the other one is that uh, it will reduce staff turnover because employees are properly uh, ordinated. So those are the things that you can be uh, giving us here. And then now let us move to the next question. And here, what does the next question expect from us? Guys, if you were watching the video of recruitment that I've recorded, I'm sure you are not having any problem when it comes to recruitment procedure. The last question says, advise businesses on the legal uh, requirements of the employment contract. Uh, the first one, we're going to say both the employer and the employee must sign the contract. You get your two marks for writing that. Uh, so he, which is here, you can uh, provide five of them. Employer and employee must agree on any changes to the contract. So those are the things that you can be uh, including. And then condition of employment, which is duties or responsibilities of the employees must be clearly stipulated in the employment contract. And then the employer must allow the employee to read the contract thoroughly before signing it. So those are the things that you can be uh, giving us on uh, the legal requirements of the employment contract. So does that make sense? And then now, when we go to write the conclusion, this is how we write our conclusion. Remember I said when you write your conclusion or your introduction, you're going to write something that is related to what? That is related to recruitment procedure. You tell us about the recruitment procedure, but not something that is asked. As you can see that on the first question on the recruitment procedure, uh, they told us that outline the recruitment procedure. So you can tell us something different about what the recruitment procedure when you are concluding. Do you understand? And then when we come to what the impact of external recruitment, you can tell us something about the impact of external recruitment, but not something that you are asked. The benefits of induction, you can tell us something about what the induction, but not what they asked you there. And then you can also tell us about a legal requirements of the employment contract, but not something that they asked you there. So for instance, number one, let's say you wanted to write about the recruitment procedure on your conclusion. So remember, conclusion is only one point. You can say businesses must be a thoroughly familiar with what with the recruitment procedure to cover expenses for using the service of recruitment agencies and then the second bullet point that you can write when it comes to what the impact of external recruitment you can say businesses need to analyze the negative impact of external recruitment and transform it into new business or opportunities or growth if you want to write about the employment contract, you can say a legal employment contract must comply with the basic condition of employment act. So that's how you will be writing your essay, guys. There is nothing that is going to be hard here. And I believe that you are going to excel in your essay of HR. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.